Insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas. It regulates glucose concentrations in the blood. The pancreas is a small organ that sits behind the stomach. It has many functions, including producing and releasing insulin into the bloodstream in response to the rise in blood glucose levels following the digestion of carbohydrates. Insulin is a hormone. Hormones are chemical messengers that allow communication between cells and organs. To understand insulin, we need first to understand glucose. Glucose is a type of sugar produced from the breakdown of carbohydrates, such as rice, pasta, and potatoes. Carbohydrates are a type of nutrient. When we eat carbohydrate, they are broken down during digestion into glucose. Glucose is used by cells to provide energy. Insulin enables the body to use glucose. Cells in the body cannot access glucose without insulin. Think of insulin as a key that opens up the locks on the body's cells so that glucose can enter the cells and be used for energy. After a meal, blood glucose levels rise. Insulin is released from the pancreas and the insulin action allows glucose to enter the cells, resulting in blood glucose levels falling. However, without insulin, glucose stays in the blood and cannot enter the cells, and blood glucose levels will continue to rise. In type 1 diabetes, the pancreas cannot produce insulin. This results in high blood glucose levels. People with type 1 diabetes need insulin treatment to survive. In type 2 diabetes, the pancreas is able to produce insulin, but the cells do not respond appropriately to the insulin, and the body is unable to use the insulin. This is known as insulin resistance, and results in high blood glucose levels. Tablets can be used to increase insulin sensitivity. These tablets make the body's cells more responsive to insulin action. Tablets can also be used to increase the amount of insulin the pancreas produces. Insulin injections can also be used to treat type 2 diabetes. The goal of insulin therapy is to maintain blood glucose levels within the target range and to avoid developing complications from diabetes. How is insulin administered? Insulin prescribed for patients is usually man-made. Insulin is injected under the skin using a needle. It can be injected into the abdomen, upper arms, buttocks, or thighs. People with type 1 diabetes need to do this several times a day. Most people use a syringe or injector pen, while others use a pump, which delivers insulin through a catheter placed underneath the skin. Types of insulin. There are different types of insulin. Fast-acting insulin, long-acting insulin, and mixed insulin. A mix of fast and long-acting insulin in the same pen. Fast-acting insulin is injected several times a day before a meal or snack, and is also used to correct high blood glucose levels. Fast-acting insulin starts to work within 10 to 15 minutes of the injection. Long-acting insulin acts as a background insulin. It controls glucose levels during sleep and in between meals. Long-acting insulin is usually injected once a day, preferably at bedtime. 
doctors may prescribe a combination of more than one kind of insulin. How to store insulin. It is important to store insulin properly. Insulin being used should be kept at room temperature, 15 to 25 degrees Celsius, as this is more comfortable to inject. Any spare insulin should be kept in its box in the refrigerator. Any used insulin must be discarded after 28 days. Do not keep insulin in the freezer, expose insulin to extreme cold or hot temperatures, expose insulin to direct sunlight, keep insulin in the car, use expired insulin. Insulin therapy is not only vital for survival in type 1 diabetes, but also has an important role in the treatment of type 2 diabetes and diabetes in pregnancy. For more information, visit www.icldc.ae.